Good morning, ladies. This is my toilet paper mini album. I made it from just regular rolls of toilet paper. Um, the I don't remember the collection that I used. I think, if I remember right, it is from the Yellow Bicycle, but I'm not sure. If I find my pieces, I will go ahead and remind you. But anyhow, um, it's just a simple cut doing the pages and then embellishing them and putting them on there. And then I just made little tags to go inside of the album and they just slip in and out. And then I held it together. Um, this album is really, really bulky so I didn't want anything that was uh, like um, a binder clip or anything like that. So what I went ahead and did was I got Michael's um, medallion wire and I went ahead and just put the green one and I just put it through there as a wire and then I'll cover up that up with ribbon here in a little bit but this is my family album so I got a whole bunch of quotes for family and then I just added and embellished um, all of my ribbon and my really fancy laces that I used in this album were white and I went ahead and inked them using the Tim Holtz distressed ink I really like the white uh, because you can do that with any color and you can match your uh, projects. So that's really, really cool. Um, I used a lot of the metal hodgepodge hardware. Um, I got mine from Stamping Up, but you can get that from anywhere. Uh, Making Memories has some. Uh, almost everybody makes some form of the hodgepodge hardware. So... Again, here's my tags, and I I do a lot of pockets and a lot of flip-ups, so that's just something I like to do for fun, and it adds a really nice embellish embellishment and feature, so that is really neat for me. I have a really fun time doing some of those. Okay, oh, also, my tags are double-sided, too, so... A lot of the paperclip parts that I have on my album are uh, part of that hodgepodge collection as well. And then I made some extra little uh, tags to slip in. I do a lot of pockets on the insides as well, just for storage. So there, and then my journaling tags. All of the journaling tags that I use like this are the Mayan Road acrylics. Uh, or the Maya Road, excuse me, it's these ones here. Uh -huh. And they come in a really nice package. So I got that. Um, this also, again, was a silk flower that was a cream. And I went ahead and used my Tim Holtz on it again. Um, and then just put it in there. I love silk flowers. I use it in lots and lots of my projects. Some more lace here and another tag. Um, this flower was a little bit different. This flower I made using my um, punches, these punches right here. Um, I used the, this is the Mega, I believe, and then also the smaller one, which is currently hiding somewhere on my scrapbook desk. Um, oops, sorry about my thumb. I do lots and lots of these flowers. Um, they are really easy to make. Um, they're very quick. It takes me about t maybe 10 minutes to do each flower. Um, I chalk and embellish, and then I use a spritz of um, mist or a glimmer mist or um, Senko. So, but they are one of my favorite projects to do. Again, here we go. I did the ribbon again. I embellished with the inks. I think that's using the brown ink. I don't remember which one it was. Okay, now this one is really cool. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it open with one hand. Yeah, I should be able to. The um, I went online and I looked for, you know, nice ways to create a lot of space. And this one, what was really cool about this one is it folds out. And you have one... Oops, I can't do it with this with two hands. But it folds out really, really enormously big. There we go. You can see how big that little itty bitty tiny block folds out. So there is lots and lots of space and room on this that you can embellish it. Um, and then it just comes right back into this really nice itty bitty little square. <laughs> so um, I really enjoyed doing that. It was a really cool project. Um, 
there's tons and tons of YouTube videos online uh, to, to make that with, and they're really simple. I'll try and find the link and post it up for you. Anyways, that is my toilet paper roll album, and thank you for watching.